Yesterday, we guaranteed ourselves a spot in this year's CONCACAF Champions Cup. Today, we've got two semifinals, three matches. Let's go. If you think I sound excited, it's because you bet your bippy I am. Welcome, everyone, to episode number 66 of the American Dream. I am Mr. Cellophane. Like and subscribe, please, and thank you. Getting right to the point, it was back at the end of April was the last time we lost a competitive match. It is mid-October now, and we find ourselves in the semifinals of the Copa de Costa Rica. We're taking on Herediano, a team that we just played twice at the end of last episode. We are hoping against all hope that the third time is going to be the charm and everyone is back. Hussein Buhemi is going to be in goal. A back four of Hichim Bakar, Freddy Gonzalez, Carlos Barantes, and Hugo Cordero. Steven Aquista, Jorge Valverde manning the midfield. At the 10, Diego Moreira is back. Vitan Tushas on the left wing. We have Juan Diego Secaria on the right-hand side. And Edward Lopez back in at striker. We also have the benefit of being at home, a place we have been absolutely dominant, not only this season, but going all the way back to last year that last loss well that one came on the road herediano losers of four in a row including their last two against us if we get through this we will make our first cup final of the series here in costa rica and we're looking to get things started pretty early as shamaro looks to send it long header one forward towards lopez Feeding it out into space along the left-hand side. Vitan Tusha is there into the corner. Edge of the box gets through. Bakara Kista has it taken away. It will be cleared and settled down by Freddy Gonzalez. He will wait. Looking for Bakari. He finds him. Bakar pushing it into the box. Through the defense. Feeding it out wide. Sekaria. He's got it. I'm not sure if that was him or if it was the defender looking to clear. Valverde playing it back ahead. Sekaria. Marrera taken down. Penalty. And an early opportunity for Saprisa to take that 1-0 lead. Barantes is going to take it since Eduardo Cordero is not there. And he will deliver second goal of the year for Carlos Barantes. And it's 1-0. Absolutely positively could not have imagined a better start. But Herediano looking to get one back. Free kick. Perigini. Buneni is going to handle that. It will be knocked behind 17 minutes into the match. Perigini, he's going to take that as well. Looking back post, Buhemi goes down. It's headed over. Bad play by Buheni. I mean, he came out, but he didn't get his hands on it. Luckily, Herediano could not take advantage. Throw in, handled by Saprisa. Barantes into the middle. Valverde feeding it wide. Hichem Bakar taking it deep. Bakar into the middle. Marrera slots it home. His fourth of the year. 2-0 Saprisa. Another knee slide from Marrera. Yeah, I know everybody was waiting for me to say knee slides for days, but I'm not going to give you that satisfaction. 2 Nothing your score. Six to three shots on goal in favor of Saprisa through the first half hour. Buheni off of the goal kick, feeding it to Barantes. Looking to move it forward. A bit of a high line, but not super pressure being put on by Herediano. But Vargas is going to take it away anyway. Feed Perigini, and Perigini will make it 2-1. That is our worst fear, getting sloppy. We did allow Herediano to come back in the second leg of the quarterfinal of the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We cannot make the same mistake here. Cordoba controlling, 43rd minute. Poros moving it toward his right. Contested, but lays it back. Moyano up to Perigini. Finds Suarez out wide. Cune in for Suarez, but his blast will go well wide. Last shot across the bow of the first half, but Herediano has taken the lead in shots on goal. It's 9-8, to eight, but Saprisa on the scoreboard, still in the catbird seat. We have been controlling possession, holding the ball 58% of the time. Up until the final 5-10 minutes of that half, it was all Saprisa. Herediano started to come on. But here early in the second half, it looks like they're falling off once again, even though we have not yet managed a shot on goal in the second frame of this match. Cordero with the first highlight of the second half. It's a corner kick from the near side. Sent into the middle. Freddy Gonzalez gets on the end of it. It's his third. Saprisa's third. It's 3-1. 
And we were literally about to make substitutions. Edward Lopez feeling a little tired, so Esteban Cordero is going to come in. Same with Steven Aquista. He'll be replaced by Alejandro Braun. Diego Moreira will flip back and take over for Jorge Valverde, who is going to slide up into that number 10, but he will very quickly be replaced by Kelvin Ofori as we make a triple change at the next stop to play. Bacar playing it into the middle. Porus will deal with that. Head it forward for Cordoba. He's got two, make that three men with him. Fed all the way across to Vargas. Pushes it past Cordero into the box. Vargas into the middle. Finds Cordoba. Wide open net. His fourth. And now it's 3-2. Just when we thought we were getting that stranglehold on the match, Herediano goes... Hold our beer. Alejandro Braun with the corner. Near side. Can't get on to Gonzalez. Ofori, though. Edge of the box. Back from Hugo Cordero. His 12th of the year to restore the two-goal lead. I may not be the best football manager player in the world, but the feeling that you get when you make a late tactical change and end up putting the right player in the right position for success, and we did that with Kelvin Ofori today, picking up the goal that sealed Saprisa's victory and our spot in the finals. 4-2, Herediano goes down to us for the third time in a row. And guess what, kids? We get to play Cartagenius again. Speaking of the Devils, guess who we had in our next league matchup? You got it, Cartagena. Second chance for Antes to Ramirez off of the corner. It's 1-0 Saprisa. Casada, though, would pick the pocket of Barantes, take it deep, send it across. Montero would beat Buheni to make it 1-1 in the first half. But just a couple of minutes later, Ofori to Braun. Back for Ofori, cutting through the defense, putting it home inside the far post to reclaim the 2-1 lead. Mere moments later, off of the corner, another second chance opportunity. This time for Jorge Valverde. He scored his fourth of the year. It's 3-1. Cartagena, though, would claw one back. What patience from Montero. Finding Gonzalez in the middle, putting it home into the open net. But even though they found one back, they would not find another 3-2. Your final, Saprisa marches on. Until we were stopped by a seemingly unlikely source. Losing on the road to Santos, our first loss in nearly six full calendar months. We were sloppy, we were disorganized, and we could not hit the broad side of the barn with the exception of Kelvin O'Forey's 81st minute goal coming in off of the bench. We had rotated the squad, but that shouldn't have mattered. My whole thinking was we were going to go into that game. I was going to not show you any of the highlights anyway and just say we kept rolling on. Doesn't matter who we put out there, but apparently... It does. And I do so love the Costa Rican press for their level-headedness. Although even with that minor setback, we still have a six-point lead in the opening stage with two games in hand. So we're not going to let a little speed bump get in our way of success. In the first leg against Cartagena, we are on the road. And we've got the big guns. Buheni, Bacar, Gonzalez, Barantes, Cordero, Aquista, Valverde, Tusha, Lopez, Moreira, and Ofori. And we've got goal scorers on the bench too, most notably Esteban Cordero, who can come in in a pinch and has performed absolutely fantastically in this season so far. Second on the team, only two Ofori in number of goals scored. But we're setting all of that aside and we're focusing on this one match against Cartagena on the road. If we stay level, if we are able to win, we stand an excellent chance of moving on to the finals of the Central American Cup. And we are in control of the ball two and a half minutes in. Akista carrying it up the left wing, playing it across. Back post, looking for Ofori. He's going to be pushed down by Parks. A penalty will be called, and this could be the boon that we are looking for as Kelvin Ofori steps up over the left footer, shoots, and scores 15th goal of the season for Calvin Ofori and it's Cartagena's nil, Saprisa one. Not a bad way to kick things off on the road, especially for Ofori, who, yes, it was from the penalty, but he was enough of a pest that he got Parks irked enough to push him down in the penalty area. It all comes together. It's all part of the game plan. 
Kelvin Ofari does an amazing job of getting under the skin of the opposition. And so far, his left boot is the reason why we are ahead 1-0. But off of the free kick, laid back Ofora, Alfaro, excuse me, cleared away. Valverde has it along the far side into the middle of Keista. He'll lay it off Ofori. In a bit of a cul-de-sac, Barante sending it forward. It's not a down. Ofari is there, charging up the right wing. He'll stop, drop it to Akista, play it across. Yara will deal with it. Solis, though, puts it down. It comes to Edward Lopez, and he will put home his sixth of the year. It's 2-0, except once again, Edward Lopez has a goal called back for being offside. No matter, we still head into the locker room with the 1-0 lead. The penalty in the fourth minute from Kelvin Ofori. The difference. Both teams, though, only managing a single shot on target out of 10 shots on goal generated in that first half. Lots of cards going Cartagena's way. They've also lost Luis Montero to an injury picked up in the 32nd minute. Four yellow cards now for the opposition. They are playing rough. And all we need to do is hang on and get into the home leg with the advantage. Marrero, forward, swept away by Solis. Parks, playing it up the line. Into the middle, Parkins, dropping it back for Raidson. Moving it back to his left, Munguia. Parkins now, looking to get it past Hugo Cordero. Cordero shadows him well. Parks, again up the line, will get it back from Munguia. Sophies for Raidson at the midfield stripe across for Alfaro. Being a little cagey here in this second half, fed through, Casada will chip the keeper, but it won't count. He was offside. The flag is up from the official along the far sideline. Time to make some changes with about 15 minutes or so left in this match. Steven Aquista is going to come off in place of Andre Castro. Edward Lopez also will cede his spot to Esteban Cordero as we make Two alterations to our lineup, hoping to find a second goal and give us that nice 2-0 cushion on aggregate heading home. If we don't get it and things stay 1-0, I'm okay with that too. Castro, second opportunity, but his pass is going to be intercepted by Parks. I'll send that long. Munguia, though, will not get there before Jorge Valverde. Andre Castro looking to move it forward once again. Ofori. Back to Valverde. We need a little bit more pace on our passes, Andre. Up ahead, Morera turns into space. He's got Ofori in behind the defense, chipping at far post, looking for Tusha. He'll settle it down. He'll fire it. It'll go off of the hands of Ruaba. Fifth goal of the year, 2-0, thanks to Vitan Tusha. Making myself tongue-tied trying to explain what just happened there. Barakal off of the ensuing kickoff. Alfaro to Alfaro. Back to Alfaro. Barakal. Ramon Alfaro in control. Will lay it to his goalkeeper at the edge of his box. Ruaba getting it started again. Barakal finding Vila. Two men on him, so he'll lay it off to Parks. Manguia. His pass intercepted. Jorge Valverde. Can't get it past Parks, but Castro is there to pick it up. Looking for Tusha along the far side. Into the middle. Can't pick out Moreira. A clearance by Barakal will be tracked down by Andre Castro. Swept away by Vila and Jara looking to go the other way. We have six minutes remaining in this match before it's won back by Andre Castro. Freddy Gonzalez, Bacar, Moreira. Nice turn. Tusha feeding it through. He's got Esteban Cordero. Is he on side? His 13th goal if he is and it will count 3-0 Saprisa. The little devil on my shoulder went of course it counted. Edward Lopez isn't in the match anymore. Off of the corner Alfaro gets a lucky ricochet. It's going to go off of Hugo Cordero. He will be credited with an own goal and Cartagena will get one back. So now the aggregate lead is only two, a stoppage time goal. Alfaro off of Cordero. So Cordero with the own goal. But that is going to be all that Cartagena is going to be able to muster. 17 to 6, shots on goal. Just the single shot on target, and it wasn't the goal scored. It was off target. That's why it was an own goal for Hugo Cordero. But Ofori opened things up with the penalty. Tusha and Cordero scoring two minutes apart late in the second half. We go home 
with a 3-1 aggregate lead. We did give a number of players in the squad a rest as we hit the road to take on Ala Huelense in the league. 2-2 your score in a very even matchup. A pair of goals for Juan Diego Secaria. Cartinius also was in action over the weekend, just like we were in the league. However, they played a day later, so they have one fewer day of rest. We've got a 3-1 lead on aggregate. If we can take advantage, we are moving on to the finals of the Central American Cup. It's Buheni in goal. Bacar, Gonzalez, Barantes, and Cordero. Again, our back four. Aquista and Castro in the midfield. Vitantusha starting on the left-hand side. Juan Diego Secaria will start on the right, which means Kelvin Ofori is going to slide over into the middle of the pitch. He's going to play the number 10 as Edward Lopez is today's striker. So really, Secaria in the match is the only change which means Diego Moreira drops down to the bench. Hopefully that does not change the result. Not a win in any of their last five matches for Cartagena. Yes, three losses and a pair of draws. The most recent of those losses, well, that came against us. 3-1, we lead. We are at home where, again, we have been absolutely dominant. The only place we have lost since the season began was on the road and you saw that result played forward Secaria into the box gets past his man takes it deep it's saved but Carr can't win it Castro heads it over to Gonzalez and Cartagena's looking to move the other way we played 10 minutes of this match Alfaro into the middle Secaria will knot it down but it doesn't make it to Ofori Cartagena's doing a good job keeping us off of the board early on, but Saprisa with the first three shots of the match. Baracol sending it forward, looking for Castro. He keeps it in at the byline, back post, and Buhene will handle that easily. Rolls it out, Barante. Castro playing it forward. Secaria up the right wing, pushes it past his man, carrying it up that sideline. Secaria floating in the early cross. Can't pick out Lopez. Valencia clears, but Carr's got it. Aquista ahead. Vitan Tusha back for Castro. Feeding Secaria. Beautiful ball into space. Sixth goal of the season, but the flag is up. It won't count. Juan Diego Secaria this time the one picking up Edward Lopez disease. Cartagena again playing very hard. Three bookings so far in this match. All three yellow cards have gone the way of the away side. We lead three to one and a chance to make it four in stoppage time in the first half off of the corner, but Zecharia can't keep his header down. And we will end the first frame tied nil-nil on the night, still with a two-goal lead on aggregate. You guys are playing great. No notes. Nine shots on goal, four on target for Saprisa, just two and one for Cartagena. We once again are dominating possession, 56% of the ball through the first 45 minutes. And right now, we are just looking to preserve the lead we have. Secaria knocking it away, but it comes free to Gonzalez into the middle. Parkins, he's got Alfaro. Alfaro shooting from range, easily handled by Boheni, and it will go out and behind for a corner kick, which they will take from the far corner. Parkins will line it up. Left footer, so we will deliver the in-swinger. Looking near post, Freddy Gonzalez heads that away easily. Munguia is the only one in the vicinity. He'll carry it back deep toward the corner. Finds Alfaro, spinning it back. Munguia, Alfaro toward the corner. Back for Byra Kahl. 25 minutes remaining in this match, and it's looking more and more like Saprisa is going to hang on to this two-goal victory. Whether we add on to it or not, I don't know, but Bakar off of the free kick. Gonzalez's header only makes it to the edge of the box. Lopez pushing it deep into the middle. Secaria off of the side of the net. Unbelievable. He did not get off a better shot. Alejandro Brand coming in for Steven Aquista. Vitan Tusha not having the greatest match on the left side. We'll bring in William Ramirez, who honestly hasn't really impressed me all that much. And how about... Espinosa coming in and making a rare appearance this year. I was just thinking as we were heading into this match that Espinosa really hasn't played a lot. I'm just waiting for him to start complaining. Ball headed clear off the set piece. Ten minutes left to go. Castro tracking it down, but Johnny Castro overtaken by Andre Castro. Played to the left wing. Ramirez back for Ofori. Alejandro Braun looking at his options forward, but instead will lay it back to Barantes. Carlos Barantes. Back for Braun, looking for Ramirez. It'll get through him. Good defensive play by Valencia. And Solis will take over here in the 80th minute. 
Ruaba looking to send it clear, but he only gets it as far as Ramirez. Forward again, but Gonzalez will nod it down for Braun. Andre Castro picks out Espinoza, makes a move. Beautiful Mohawk and all, taking it deep. Espinoza puts it past the keeper. His first goal of the year, Jose Pablo Espinoza ices it. Of course, I always say something like that, and then there's usually another highlight that follows up. Maybe the other team gets one back. But in this case, it does not look like it is going to be the case. Four additional minutes at the end of the second half will come, and they will go. Just the one goal in the 81st minute, but that's really all we needed. In fact, we didn't even need that. 4-1 on aggregate. We beat Cartagena again. But the big question is, will we be able to beat them again and hoist the Copa de Costa Rica? We're going to find that out in tomorrow's episode. Plus, we are going to have highlights from the remaining matches in the opening stage. And then the episode after that, we have the final of the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We're taking on Cota Pique out of Guatemala. Hope to see you for both of those. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new, or if you just haven't gotten around to it already, now is a perfect time. Lots and lots of football left to play as we bear down on the end of the first half of the season here in Costa Rica. I hope to see you then. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.